Good evening, my lords. A great battle persists in the north. <laughs> we must join together to reclaim our houses, for the winter is coming. And House October will be on top. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> you got kind of hood there, man. <laughs> Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Tried to stay in character. Acting's hard, bro. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Turn it out. This award's not that important. I know how to make muskets. All right, we got to stop trying to be comedians. That's not what we do. Yeah. We sit, make squinty faces, and watch TV. Yes. Stand right. What's dead man ever done? I know. I wanted to say it, but I didn't want to be the one. Oh, there's somebody outside cutting down trees right now. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> I know. Big girl's tree and limb pulled up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm allowed to joke about that. My dad cut trees for a living as a tree company. Onion, onion. <sighs> Ghost is like, what the hell? I know. He's like, are you you? Oh my gosh. That's so many betrayals. What do you remember? She's kind of weird. She's surprised she did it. They stopped me. Oli. Oh man. Put a knife in my heart. That's awkward. That was your steward. I shouldn't be here. After they stabbed you, after you died, where did you go? What did you see? There was nothing at all. Wow. Well, maybe he could have been anywhere. He might not remember it because he just woke up. you come back for a reason. He was hanging out with the Lord of Light, probably. Stannis was not the prince who was promised, but someone has to be. She's going to think it's him now. Could you give us a moment? But maybe he can constantly die and she'll always revive him. Let's go. You were dead. And no, you're not mad, seems to me. I can only imagine how it seems to you. <laughs> Way to keep it real there. I thought it was right, and I got murdered for it. And now I'm back. Why? Maybe we'll never know. What does it matter? You fight for as long as you can. You clean up as much of the shit as you can. I don't know how to do that. I thought I did. I failed. Maybe John wasn't political enough. Good. Now go fail again. <laughs> You know what I mean, though? Like, he could have convinced people and maybe not got killed, but but I guess in a sense, he tried. Well, he just came back smarter, boy. It'd take a long time to convince people. Dang. This is crazy, bro. Like, what the heck? Don't stop till the whistle blows, boy. <laughs> he is still walking. Confirm your kills. All right. Decapitate. They think you're some kind of god. The man who returned from the dead. I'm not a god. I know that. <laughs> I saw your pecker. <laughs> what? <laughs> kind of God would have a pecker that small. <laughs> <laughs> He's so rude to him. He just came back from the dead, and that's what he gets. He got him. stabbed up. Maybe it shriveled a little bit. All right, jeez. It is the north. <laughs> like, <laughs> Aw, Ed. Tormund's making all of us big Johnson fellas look bad. Are still brown. <laughs> <laughs> is that still you in there? I don't think so. Hold off on burning my body for now. Aww. That's funny. <laughs> you sure that's still you in that? <laughs> right, you're not funny. <laughs> you're serious. That's All got, the time. Hey, that's got me concerned. Why, because he, he made a little haha? -ha. I done told y'all, I watch Supernatural. I know how that goes when you come back from the dead. You don't come back all the way right. I know, what if he's like a, a white walker? Maybe he's a demon. Infiltrating. Oh, the horseback fellas. Yeah, he's probably like acting like a human. You all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Did I ever tell you I used to think the sea was called the sea because it was nothing but water as far as the eye could see? Oh. I don't think so. <laughs> sea. Sea. <laughs> it was before I learned how to read, obviously. Oh. Sam, are you going to be sick? Ew. I like how he tries to man up for her, though. <laughs> yeah. He really does. <laughs> She's definitely getting the best out of Sam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Won't be long. Be in South soon. I'm excited to see Old Town. The captain says it's the most beautiful city in Westeros. The Citadel doesn't admit women. There won't be a place for you there. Half a little Sam. We need to change okay, that. Castle Black. There's no women allowed there. The Citadel isn't Castle Black. I don't have a, a Jon Snow or Maester Raymond to help me bend the rules. I'll stay in Old Town then. By yourself? With a baby and no money? If we're not going to Old Town, where are you taking me? To my home. Horn Hill. It's in the reach, I think. But my father, but my mother's a kind woman and my sister's lovely. They'll take care of you both. There you go, Sam. Wherever Hopefully. you go, I go too. That's what you said. Uh-oh. Oathbreaker. Maybe he swore an oath Yeah, to you're right. I'm going to look for common themes. 
Well, Sam threw up kind of elegant, though. I Not know. like me. I, I thought like a werewolf. Yeah, you do. Little Sam to be safe. That's all I want. To become a maester so I can help John when the time comes. So you'll be safe. Us and everyone else in the world. I don't care about them. <laughs> <laughs> I care about you and him. I know that, Sam. And he does too. Aww. He's grown up. You think it's for the best. We trust you. I'd feel better if you threw something at me and stormed off. Oh. I'd never do that to the father of my son. Oh. Now I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it. I'm glad he did that. I don't know what's gonna happen to them, but it's probably not gonna be good, to be honest. I know, because they're too heartfelt. This is Game of Thrones. Yeah, nothing good happens in this world. Who's this sword shiner? My dog is tripping and flipping out there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, let me make sure ain't nobody breaking in my house. <laughs> Turns out my dog's just barking because he's spoiled. That's <laughs> <laughs> really all it comes down to. Yeah, that one. Sorry. All right, back to back to where we were. Oh, the break. Thank you guys for not getting mad at me when I have to pause. Sometimes we have to live life a little bit. That's Bran the man right there. That's my father. Little Ned. The man beside him is Howlin' Reed. Oh, yeah. Mm. Jojen's dad. Dad looks like a young whippersnapper, don't he? <laughs> what? <laughs> Sir Arthur Dane. The sword of the morning. Oh, Father Joffrey said something about him. He ever saw. Lord Stark. I looked for you on the trident. And we weren't there. Your friend, the usurper, would lie beneath the ground if we had been. The Mad King is dead. Why weren't you there to protect your prince? Our prince wanted us here. They're Targaryens, obviously. Where's my sister? I wish you good fortune in the wars to come. Oh, damn. And now it begins. <gasps> Dual swords! No, now it ends. <laughs> That'd be a really crappy place to be held. Oh, obviously Ned wins, right? He's winning. Whoa, where'd he come from? Oh! V1. And Bran gets to watch it? That's crazy. I would feel like I need to go help. He kind of looks like Theon's dad, not Bran's. Bran's like way too chill for this. It's already happened, baby. He knows the result. Oh, yeah. He's better than my father. Harbert. Your father beat him. I know he did. Heard the story a thousand times. Mm. Oh, Howlin'. So the history change or did the story he not add up? Back. You lied about the story. No, he said, I don't remember, man, actually. Whoa. I mean, he kind of told the truth. You left out some details. What's in the tower? That's enough for one day. We'll visit again another time. I want to see where he's going. Time to go. A lady. Did he just hear him? Yeah, right? Bro, please don't start interfering with time like this in the show, because oh. that's going to confuse me. Oh, he did, couldn't see him. He sensed him, though. Oh, my gosh. And Brian could walk. I didn't even, like, sit there and think about that. Why did you do that? Take me back there. I want to go back. No. Yeah, please. Take him back. He heard me. Past is already written. The ink is dry. What's in that tower? I want to go back there. Stay too long where you don't belong, and you will never return. Why do I want to return? So I can be a cripple again. So uh -oh. I can talk to an old man in a tree. Do you think I wanted to sit here for a thousand years watching the world from a distance as the roots grew through me? So why did you? I was waiting for you. I don't want to be you. You won't be here forever. You won't be an old man in a tree. But before you leave, you must learn. Oh, the coach up and story. What? Everything. So he's going to become like an oracle or something? He's going to have like a sensei moment. I don't know. How can he? <laughs> oh, wow. That's nuts. Yeah, because I thought they were just travelers, but they have like a home base. You think she's going to take this whole place over? Is that your prediction? I, I mean, yeah, she she is queen mentalities. Never mind. That girl looks pretty tough. Tougher than an old weather punch a bag. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> she told them go and they listened. Yeah. <laughs> And then Jack your necklace. Yeah, she had a change of plans. Oh, so same different day. Yeah, but see, I don't think they realize that she's got this big old dragon. Yeah, three of them. Yeah, that thing might burn a tribe up. You know what I'm saying? And Tyrion let him go. 
I don't know how you stand it and all that leather. <laughs> if we could have the room. Why is Varys talking to her? You look lovely today, my dear. You really do. If you're going to torture me, just call them back and get on with it. I am not a torturer. Though it so often is what people deserve. And it does provide answers. My job is to find the right answers. Do you know how I do that? I do it by making people happy. I'd like to make you happy, Vala. That's your name, isn't it? Vala. That's all right. I know who you are and what you've done. You've helped the sons of the Harpy murder the Unsullied and the Second Sons. The Unsullied and the Second Sons are foreign soldiers brought here by a foreign queen to destroy our city and our history. Well, that makes perfect sense from your perspective. I have a different perspective, of course. Because that is the only way that I can make you and Dom happy. That is how you pronounce it. Dom. I'm afraid I don't really speak the language. Such a handsome boy. Oh, her son. Brown That's eyes. what I was Good luck keeping the ladies away. You won't torture me. You'll just threaten my son. Your boy is in no immediate danger. This, I swear to you. But between us, dear, you did conspire to kill the Queen's soldiers. We both know the penalty for that crime. Uh-oh. Yeah, speaking of perspective, from her perspective, he's Dom creepy. Get on without his right. And with his breathing problem. If I tell you anything, they'll kill me. So either you kill me or they do. From your perspective, this is a problem. <laughs> there is a third option, though. A ship leaving tomorrow for Pentos. I've already booked passage for a woman and her young son. I'll even throw in a bag of silver to help you start again. Far too heavy for me. <laughs> The boat sails at dawn. You need to decide now. A new life for you and Dom, or... Oh, gosh. I hope she gave him up. That'd be a big dub. They don't really know each other. <laughs> it's kind of awkward. What should we do while we wait? To pass the time. What should we do? What should we talk about? <laughs> you speak 19 languages. You must occasionally use some of them to talk about things. <laughs> <laughs> They've been slaves. a great deal of time together. What would you be talking about if I weren't here? Patrol. <laughs> When I'm going on patrol with the Ansalit, what we see on patrol, what we capture on patrol. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> They're like robots from Tyrion's perspective. Well, that's a report. <laughs> I was thinking more of a conversation. A wise man once said, the true history of the world is a history of great conversations in elegant rooms. Who said this? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Just now. What the heck? All right, no conversations. Let's play a game. You don't play games, either one of you, ever? Games are for children. My master, Krasnys, would sometimes make us play games. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Only the girls. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> not that, of course not that. <laughs> Innocent games, fun games, drinking games. We do not drink. Until you do. <laughs> Until you do. All right. No drinking. We can play without drinking. It's a wonderful game. I invented it. Here's how it works. I make a statement about your past. If I'm wrong, I drink. And if I'm right, maybe we can't play without drinking. That's like the only game he knows. <laughs> right. <laughs> Dang. Oh. Didn't he pull that out? Like it's time for two already. Yeah. Sorry. Wish I. I was busy learning who funds the Sons of the Harpy. Some things you can't rush. You found out? The good masters of Astapol and the wise masters of Yonkai, with help from their friends in Volantis. You see, you don't even have to worry about the local rebellion. We only have to worry about the three rich foreign cities paying for it. Who will remain to defend the free people of Marine? If we do not fight them, how can we stop them? The masters speak only one language. They spoke it to me for many years. I know it better than my mother tongue. If we want them to hear us, we must speak it back to them. May it be the last thing they ever hear. Oh, you may be right. So we will fight them. It's a conversation. <laughs> it's crazy how the whole council of Daenerys switched yeah, up like pleasure. it did. Mm -hmm. How's your mother's jaw? Better. And your father? No one's seen him. And no one will. That worked out rather nicely. Will Lord Varys ever come back? I don't think so. You miss him. He was nice. He called us his little birds. He gave us sweets. Oh yeah, he's the master of whispers now. Guess what I happened to find today? He's got like a darker vibe mm. to him though. Um, mm -hmm. from Dorn. Oh no, from Dorn. <laughs> now remember, if any of your friends like sweets or need help, they can always come to me. No need to be afraid. <laughs> oh. This is Sir Gregor. He's friends with all my friends. Barris' little birds. Your little birds now, Your Grace. What did you do to him exactly? I haven't been able to get a clear answer. A number of things. Does you understand what we're saying? I mean, to the extent that he ever understood complete sentences in the first place. Oh, he knows. That is a he yes. understands well enough. Tell him to march into the sept and crush the High Sparrow's head like a melon. The High Sparrow has hundreds of faith militants surrounding him. Sir Gregor can't face them all, and he won't have to. 
He'll only have to face one. Uh-oh. Who? That's the faith level official charges you. Not yet. I want little birds in dawn, in High Garden, in the north. If someone is planning on making our losses their gains, I want to hear it. If someone is laughing at the queen who walked naked through the streets, I want to hear it. Oh. I want to know who they are. She's looking for revenge, boy. I want to know where they are. Ooh. Yo, that was a no, tough Cersei moment Paris right there. Kyber Maybe worse. the toughest so far. I told them all. I told them. He's arrogant, dangerous. You don't get thrown out of the Citadel without good reason. And no one listened to my advice. So, here we are. And what he's done to Gregor Clegane is an abomination. <laughs> we never sanctioned oh, this, nice. this experiment. And I, for one, think it will be in our best interest to have the beast destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> and I help you. My, my mother. I was invited, my dear, to help deal with several troubles. It's real estate because he's so old. <laughs> the queen's imprisonment. Thank you for bringing it up. Marjorie is the queen. You are not the queen because you're not married to the king. I do appreciate these things can get a bit confusing in your family. <laughs> Burn. It's a small council meeting. You have no position. On the small council. And the Lord Command of the King's Guard. The Lord Command of the King's Guard does have a position on the small council. And Maester Pycelle, would you sanction that statement? Well, um, I would say Sir Gerald Hightower had a seat on the Mad King's Council. Uh, <laughs> <or> <laughs> the Mad King. King Robert saw things differently. Dang, Dang so Cersei's Deathful? like hopping in charge. Mm -hmm. Do you consider the murder of your own blood a troublesome issue? The same women who murdered Marcella have overthrown House Martell and taken control of Dawn. We've got a lot to discuss. All of us, together. And seeing as you cannot make us leave, we best get on with it. Oh. No, we cannot make you leave. And you cannot make us stay. Not unless you're going to have that thing murder us all. Oh. See ya. What you going to do, Pycelle? Yeah, you better sit right there. Oh, got a bus. <laughs> oh, he's, sne he's sneaking around this guy. That's all you need. He didn't even, he didn't even address the king. <laughs> My mother would like to see her daughter's final resting place. That's not possible. When? Will it be possible? When she's fully atoned for her sins. Cut off her hair and marched her naked through the streets in front of the whole city. That wasn't a full atonement. No. She must stand trial before seven septums so we can learn the true extent of her sins. I want you to let her see Marcella's resting place. I am the king. You are. What if they arrest Tommen? What does that mean to you? It means a great deal to me. The crown and the faith are the twin pillars of the world. Cersei. You know who told me that? Your mother. My mother who still needs to atone after all you've put her through. It's a change of pace. How do you think the mother above first came to us? How did men and women first come to feel the mother's presence? It was through their own mothers. There's a great deal of falsehood in Cersei. You know that. But when she speaks of you, the mother's love outshines it all. Her love for you is more real than anything else in this world. Because it doesn't come from this world. You know that. You felt it. You've seen her when she talks to you. Yes. It's a great gift. One I never had. Envy. One more thing for me to atone for. May I do mine? It's my knees. Of course. Now don't get soft on him now, Tom. I know. Make him stand up, boy. When your mother made her walk of atonement, she did it to get back to you. It's what the gods want. They make their will known to us, and it's up to us to either accept or reject it. Don't do it, brother. I'm so nervous for some reason. If we're to be just, and good, then we accept it, all of us, even kings. A true leader avails himself of the wisest counsel he can, and no one is wiser than the gods. My grandfather once said something similar, except for the part about the gods. The gods work through him whether he knew it or not, as they work through your mother. There's so much good in all of us. The best we can do is to help each other bring it out. What is this fight club? Who are you? No one. Who were you before you came here? I is Stark. Tell me about Arya Stark's family. Her father was Eddard Stark. Her mother was Catelyn Stark. She had one sister, Sansa, and four brothers. <laughs> Why should they don't count John? Maybe not. Three brothers: Rob, <laughs> Bran, <laughs> Rickon, <laughs> and a half brother, John. And where are they now? They may be dead, for all the girl knows. Now she's like the drug sniffing dogs. Right, she's developing her soul. Tell me about the Hound. <laughs> Also dead. He was not on her list anymore. Mm. She had taken him off it. <laughs> Why? Didn't she want him dead any longer? She did and she did not. She sounds confused. She was. If she was wrong, would it explode? I guess. She's learning about her senses. 
Cersei Lannister. <laughs> Gregor Clegane. Walder Frey. That's a short list. He wants to. Sure, you're not forgetting someone. She's talking about her, right? Herself. Which name would you like a girl to speak? <laughs> the comeback story. Let's go. I guess the girl is ready. She just walked off. Boy, she had to go through it. <laughs> if a girl tells me her name, I will give her eyes back. A girl has no name. But she said it so many times. What is about to happen? That's the death fountain. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm stressed out. If a girl is truly no one, she has nothing to fear. Oh, the person earlier was truly no one. Wasn't truly no one. <gasps> hey, she got her eyes back. She passed. Who are you? No one. No one. No idea what that means, but you know. Good job, Arya. That's our girl. <laughs> Y'all are a wall. famously loyal house. Famously loyal to the Starks. And you, Lord Stark? Your people share blood with the Starks, don't they? Times change. That's the new car When my start. father became <laughs> Warden of the North, your house refused to pledge their banners. My beloved father, the Warden... Your father was a and that's why you killed him. My father was poisoned by our enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Liar. <laughs> Lord Amber. The bastard John Snow led an army of wildlings past the wall. Wildlings come down. We always have to fight them first. I like fighting wildlings. Been doing it all my life. But there are too many of them for us to beat back alone. So They're coming for you, come Ramsay. Seeking help. We need to help each other. Won't take them long to get here. You think a horde of wildlings can take Winterfell? If they get John Snow leading them, maybe. He knows his place better than we ever will. Pledge your banners to House Bolton. Swear loyalty to me as Warden of the North. And we will fight together. Traditionally, a banner man kneels. For his lord. <laughs> not doing that either. Why would I trust a man who won't honor tradition? Your father honored tradition. Knelt for Robstark, called him King of the North. F kneeling. And f oaths. Oath break I've got a gift for you. Yeah, there you go. A girl, I hope. I prefer redheads. A girl. White Sansa. <laughs> a wild one. Whoa! No! Bro, I ain't seen her in a minute. I like them wild. No, no, It's no, like no, running no. into your Little old co Nice and young. The way Carstart likes them. Oh, Rickon. Oh, he grew up. He's like Big Who's Rick this? now. Rickon Stark. Oh, man. How do I know that's Rickon Stark? His wolf. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Jeez, bro. I hate Ramsey, even though it wasn't him. It's essentially him, though. Welcome home, Lord Stark. Mm -mm. Oh, my God. And he's going to get hurt. Holy cap. I, dude, I don't even know what to say about that. <laughs> Genuinely, that's crazy. It's gonna be up to John, probably. Send a raven about it, please. Someone tell him. You know how John hasn't reunited with anyone yet? Maybe that will finally be what, like, you know what I'm saying? Well, he's in charge now. Yeah. Like, maybe he can finally leave. I wanna see Tormund versus Ramsey. Yeah. I wanna see Davos versus, um, you the know. The world. <laughs> Everybody. <gasps> if you have any last words, now is the time. You shouldn't be alive. It's not right. Neither was killing me. My mother's still living in White Harbor. Could you write it? Tell her I died fighting the wildlings. Mm -mm. You stabbed him, really. He's gonna spit in John's face. I had a choice, Lord Commander. Betray you or betray the Night's Watch. If I had to do it all over, knowing where I'd end up, I pray I'd make the right choice again. I'm sure you would, Sir Alistair. I fought, I lost, now I rest. Wow. But you, Lord Snow, you'll be fighting their battles forever. That's kind of tough. Those are some good words to go out to, though. That guy right there has got some balls, boy. <laughs> Can't fit him in the Oh, room. I don't I don't know about if I want to hear this one. He's still mad, bro. I guess she'll be getting hang grit tooth, boy. Now their watch is ended. Now my watch is ended. Well. Oh. Yeah, I feel bad for that kid, man. He just was doing what he genuinely thought was the right thing to do. He's only seen bad stuff well, his whole life. Well, he was doing it out of revenge. Well, yeah, but he's only seen bad stuff his whole life. Yeah. Well, not really. Not until the Wildlings came. I can just understand <laughs> where right. was that. You should burn the bodies. You should. What do you want me to do with this? Wear it. Whoa. Oh. <gasps> no, that's a good coat. You have got so black. We voted you. My watch is ended. Yo, he served it. Brother, he served it till his death. His watch oh, is ended. Let's Yo, go. that was cool. Oathbreaker. That was cool. Oath that was the breaker. coolest moment of the series so far. I like that. Yo, he. So basically, John said, "You know what? My my oath has ended, bro. bro. I, I have given it. I paid the ultimate price. My oath has ended. That was sick. I love that. That was dope. I love that. that. Was really John cool. John is moving up the character scale. Absolutely. Even if he is a damn unnatural 
walking abomin abominable snowman looking John. Right. Snow. He's like the equivalent to the mountain right now. <laughs> They're the same dude. <laughs> Book of the Stranger. Book of the Stranger, yeah. What's that? Appears to be the Book of the Stranger. The Lord Commander's sword. He left it? Left it on the table. Where are you gonna go? South. What are you gonna do? Get warm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was with you at hard home. We know it's coming here. How can you leave us now? Yeah, I can see why you'd be mad. I did everything I could, you know. You swore a vow. I, I pledged my life to the Night's Watch. I gave They oh. killed me, Ed, my own brothers. You want me to stay here after that? Right? <gasps> Riders. <gasps> Santa Stark. Shut up. I'm so excited for this. <laughs> so I was wrong with my prediction. Yeah, it means you have been wrong the whole time. I forgot they were headed there, to be honest. Tormund said, that's my sister. Maybe he liked her because she was so big. <laughs> oh, I thought he was talking about Sansa being redhead, but okay. Come on, come on. Bang. There it was, dude. Finally. <laughs> now go explain to her how you just got stabbed up and came back. Oh my gosh. Whew. That feels good because we needed moment. that. Right. Absolutely. Now here comes the horror stories, right? God, what do y'all talk about? Everything. Everything, man. Jeez. Oof. So how's life? <laughs> How you doing, sis? <laughs> I'm like dead. <clears throat> Who's got a crazier story to tell, though? He died. <laughs> Hers is wild, too, though. She basically died. <laughs> His kidney pies yeah, she night. basically did. With the peas and onions. Mm. We never should have left Winterfell. I want to <laughs> scream at myself. Don't go, you idiot. How could we know? I spent a lot of time thinking about what an ass I was to you. We were children. I was awful, just admit it. You were occasionally awful. <laughs> I'm sure I can't have been great fun always sulking in the corner while the rest of you played. You forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. Forgive me. All right, all right, I forgive you. Sansa's laughing? What in the world? So is John, kind of. He I died and came back with a sense of humor a little bit. Maybe you get tired She's of hanging around nail. bros all day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where will you go? Where will we go? Oh. I don't watch over your father's ghost will come back and murder me. Where will we go? Can't stay here, not after what happened. There's only one place we can go. Home. <laughs> take it back. Or should we tell the Boltons to pack up and leave? We'll take it back from them. I don't have an army. They owe you their lives. I think they'll be safe here if Roose Bolton remains warden of the North. Oh, she doesn't know he's dead. It's ours. And Arya's and Bran's and Rickon's, wherever they are, it belongs to our family. We have to fight for it. I'm tired of fighting. He's already All fought to death. Done since I left home. I've killed brothers of the Night's Watch. I've killed wildlings. I've killed men that I admire. I hanged a boy younger than Bran. I've fought and I lost. If we don't take back the North, we'll never be safe. I want you to help me. Okay, Sansa. But I'll do it myself if I have to. Ooh. How? You gotta train up, girl. <laughs> yeah, you better get real girl, good. Girl, you better call Arya up. Mr. Devils. Will you stay here at Castle Black? I will do as Jon Snow commands. <laughs> okay. You serve Jon Snow now. He's the prince that was promised. How you know? I idiot thought that was Stannis. That prophecy, right? Right. She just, but she's jumping ships on whoever she thinks it is at the moment. Well, that's because he just came back from the dead. Stannis didn't. Right. You kind of got to believe that. <laughs> but she didn't really try on Stannis. What happened down there? <laughs> yeah. There was a battle. Stannis was defeated. Oof. What happened to the princess? Oh, no. I saw what happened. I saw Stannis' forces defeated in the field. My lady, I'm Sir Davos Seaworth. I was King's guard to Renly Baratheon before Renly was assassinated with blood magic. That's in the past now. Um, bygones and all that. It's in the past. Doesn't mean I forget or forgive. He admitted it, you know. Stannis, just before I executed him. Ooh. Right, but see, he just opened his mouth and said, the past is the past. And mm -hmm. she's like, yeah, it sure is. Don't forget it. That's Hey, wild. little Rob. Ugh. Do you think he's still eating organically? Well, she did. <laughs> that guy. Well, I mean, I know, but he's got to find somebody to eat from, right? <laughs> he never learned to use a fork. <laughs> oh, please don't be little finger. The defender of the veil, vale. <laughs> Uncle Peter. Why is he so psyched to see him? <laughs> he must have nothing about him. <laughs> I missed your name, Day. Go on. I would, dude. Oh. I, mm. oh God, that scared me. A deer falcon. I don't want to interrupt. Greatest and rarest of birds. Last time I saw you, Baelish, you told me you were taking Sansa Stark home with you to the Fingers. Indeed I was. And yet, not long ago, we received reports that she has been married to Ramsay Bolton in Winterfell. On our way to the Fingers, we were set upon by a large force of Bolton men. <laughs> Seemed to know exactly Liar. when we were traveling and exactly whom we were transporting. Do you take me for a fool? How many Ooh. people knew of my travel plans with Sansa Stark? You see this setting up? Oh, he's setting them up. Tensions with you and no one else. Slander a man in his own home, 
you might find yourself crossing swords with him. Who? Your home is the Vale. The Lord of the Vale stands before us, and only his judgment concerns me. And he just bought him a falcon, so... <laughs> Should we throw him through the moon door? I have always been faithful to House Aaron, to your father, to your mother, and now to you. He doesn't care about that. He wants entertainment. Yeah. Keep leaving, Uncle Peter. Dang. Look at him. Lord the bird wants to know. Well. He's enjoyed a distinguished military career. You can trust my absolute loyalty, my lord. I think he deserves one more chance. What do you say? Fine. <laughs> Whatever the Falcon says. I bring good news. My friends in the north tell me Sansa has escaped Winterfell. I expect she's headed to Castle Black, but she won't be safe there. Not with the Boltons after her. They wouldn't dare invade Castle Black. She's my cousin. We should help her. That was my instinct as well. <laughs> <laughs> Our Lord has spoken. He kind of made it seem <laughs> like it was his idea. <laughs> the time has come to join the fray. <clears throat> the fray? I don't think he means like the phrase. Oh. He means, like, <laughs> the <laughs> city. I did. Here I go being literal Every again. man once told me. We make peace with our enemies, not our friends. I don't make peace with the Queen's enemies. I kill the Queen's enemies. How has that worked here in Marine? I represent the diplomatic approach. We enter these negotiations with open eyes. Look at her unsullied outfit now. How many days we were slave? Long enough to know. <laughs> not long enough to understand. Yeah, you were a slave like a week, big dog. I bought this dwarf for a single gold honor. Somehow, you've risen to the top <laughs> of the great <laughs> pyramid of Marine. <laughs> Most He'll weasel his way into anything. <laughs> the come up. The good masters of us, Paul. Here's to reversals of fortune. We came here to meet the queen. Oh, we know that guy. Instead, we're greeted by a dwarf and a eunuch. Let's make this simple, shall we? Tell me what you want. We want you to leave Slaver's Bay. Take your dragons and your mercenaries and go. Queen Daenerys won't stay in Marine forever. The path takes her westward. Just because your master has silver hair and tits doesn't mean she's not. <laughs> <laughs> friends, friends. There have always been those, wealth and power, and those with nothing. Slavery is the way of our world. You don't need slaves to make money. There haven't been slaves in Westeros for hundreds of years, and I grew up richer than any of you. Here is the Queen's proposal. Slavery will never return to Marine, but she will give the other cities of Slaver's Bay time to adjust to the new order. Instead of abolishing slavery overnight, we will give you seven years to end the practice. Oh. In exchange, you will cut off your support for the Sons of the Harpy. We do not support the Sons of the Harpy. Fine. Mm -hmm. You will cut it off all the same. <laughs> I do hope you accept, my friends. You will not receive a better offer. That's pretty good. Good job, Tyrion. As a parting gift to our honored guests. But like, what if you're not in the mood for all that? <laughs> what if you're just, what if you got things to do? It doesn't taste every bit as good. What if you're like married and you're just for real married? <laughs> well, I don't think marriage, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just saying like, like if they're just busy, like who wants to do all that? They're busy men. Miroki Rosa, Uso Vagon, Jemosi Jombagon. Perhaps I should translate for you. We speak the common tongue. Excellent. You met with the slavers today. I did. Our brothers and sisters died fighting these scum. Now you invite them to our city and drink wine with them. I imagine this room was built so the rulers could intimidate the ruled. But I am not your ruler. I am not the breaker of chains. And I am certainly not mother of dragons. So why do you represent Meereen in these talks? Oh, the book of stranger mm -hmm. title. Our queen chose me as her advisor until she returns from her travel. When does she return? We don't know you. We don't trust you. We know Torgonudu. We fight with him against the masters. We trust him. And that is exactly why Grey Worm took part in these negotiations. As commander of the Unsullied, he knows how to defeat the slavers. And he knows when it is time to make peace. <laughs> Dori Pompasos Livan. You have Sylvia Vala Mera in the Trenas. No shot. Berdi Jedi Krenuntosi. Do Ilvira Gerosi. They trust them. <laughs> Do not use me for your lies. Those men respect you. They respect me because they know who I am. They know I am loyal. As do I. I am loyal to my queen, not you. If you betray her work, you are my enemy. I am not betraying her work. I am trying to save her city. You're right. Slavery is a horror that should be ended at once. War is a horror that should be ended at once. I can't do both today. You are wrong to trust these men. I don't trust the masters. You don't understand them. We are not human in their eyes. They look at me and see a weapon. They look at her and see a whore. They look at me and they see a misshapen little beast. Their contempt is their weakness. They will use you. That is what they do. I don't like all this <clears throat> division internally, though. I know. If Jorah kicked him off the rock, I wouldn't right. be surprised. We need each other right now. After we're done needing each other. Oh, 
I don't want to find you, Jory the Andal. You didn't get much discipline as a child, did you? None. The road running through the horse gate, they called out the God's Way. When Karl Drogo died, she was supposed to come here and join the Dosh Kaleen, the widows of the dead Karl. That's where they'll have taken her. Detective Jorah, though. The Dosh Kaleen. He understands the culture. He's like, what? <laughs> Isn't it forbidden to sneak into their city and steal their Khaleesi? If they spot us, we're unarmed. <laughs> but if they see weapons, there's a hundred thousand of them down there. We can't fight our way out. We wait till dark, and then we'll find her. Y'all brave. He's gonna. Oh, guys, about to say he's gonna try to conceal one because he's hard headed. Very attached to this. Thing. Why is there a girl in the back? <laughs> he said he's attached to it. That looks like a mud flap. Oh, <gasps> did he see that? Did he see that? Don't worry, it didn't touch you. You know what happens? I know what happens. Dang, so someone knows now. I'll do it myself. Oh my god, I thought he was gonna kill him. I don't know why you thought that because <laughs> I thought he was about to backstab him. Sourfish. <laughs> Dang, man. Get him, get him, get him. Tackle. They're busy on them streets. They don't care. Man, you're getting a little slow, bro. It's to grayscale. And the dehydration. Yeah. Uh, now he's about to rub that in his face. Did you think he kept the knife? <laughs> yeah. Of course he did. Told you. Very attached to this knife. The whole city will be looking for us. Oh. Now they'll think of Dorthraki did it. Yeah. Maybe. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Jeez. <laughs> you get it? What? So they'll think of Dorthraki oh, did it. Oh. Because they're just so brutal. You oh, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like, it just looks like a Dorthraki murder. <laughs> I feel like this is like a little side mission she's caught up in. We will never get out of face Dothrak alive. We can do is try. We can do more than that. What are y'all gonna do? She's gonna have to like win him over, I guess. Oh, I forgot about Marge. She ain't forgot about you. Right. She's been in there thinking about everything. Mm hmm. A million ways to kill Cersei Lannister by Marjorie Baratheon. If I were to let you leave right now, where would you go? What would you seek out? I'd go to my brother, my husband, my family. But for you, that means seeking out money, finery, power. Seeking out your family means seeking out sin. I sought those things out too, to the exclusion of all else. My father was a cobbler, died when I was young and I took over his shop. I just thought of peach cobbler. He was a simple man and he made simple shoes, but I found that the more work I put into my shoes, the more people wanted them. We need to get some of that soon. <laughs> or some ice cream. Detailing and time, time most of all. Dozens of hours spent on a single pair. Well, as he takes time. <laughs> Yes. The highborn like to cover their feet with my time, and they paid well for the privilege. I used their money to buy a taste of their lives for myself. Each time I... And one day you walked through a graveyard and realized it was all for nothing, and set out on the path to righteousness. Look at the stranger, verse 25. Oh, title. You know the seven-pointed star? Scepter and Ella reads it to me. Yes, yeah, she does enjoy reading at people. You're close, but it wasn't a graveyard. It was a feast. I bought old fine wine and young pretty girls and invited my friends to come and share it all. Passed around the wine, passed around the women, and soon we fell into a stupor. I woke before dawn, barely stand. Everyone else was asleep on the couches or on the floor. The truth of their bodies laid bare. I could smell them beneath the incense and the perfume and the fine food that had already started to turn. And I saw it with perfect clarity. I saw what my sins were. The gold I had, the wine I drank, the women I used, my ceaseless struggle to maintain my position. It's all part of a story. A story I was telling myself about who I was. A collection of lies that would disappear in the light. The people I was trying to climb away from, they were closer to the truth than I ever was. So what did you do? I left to go and find them. I walked out the door and never went back. Never wore shoes. I remember my first pair of shoes. This is confusing because, like, why is he letting her do that? <clears throat> She's just playing good cop right now. Loris. Oh my gosh. They probably wish they never came there. You are the future of our house, the future of our family. I don't care about that. Shh. You told them that, that you don't care. I just wanted to stop 
Yeah, I'd be saying anything I had to say to get out of there. <laughs> yeah, let me get out of here. Oh my gosh. And I'm gonna burn this they place down. They want me to help you. They want me to help tear you down. That's why he's letting me see you. I know it is. And if either of us give in. Wait, just make it stop. Oh. It seems like he's getting it tougher than her, though. It's High Sparrow. I have dealt with fanatics of every description, Your Grace. Not setting them off. That's the most important thing. You are beset with enemies, both within and without. What are you doing here? I am advising the king on our current predicament. Leave. I am a member of the small council. King's Is small. this a small council meeting? Obviously not. I am here to lend my wisdom. Thank you. That will be all for now. <laughs> Cersei don't like him no more. Well, she just don't want anyone in his ear. <clears throat> Especially yeah. that doesn't have her intentions. Look at him walking so slow. <laughs> He's just an old man. They used to be BFFs. I kind of like Cersei's hair like that, like short. Makes her look scarier. <laughs> I've been thinking about the High Sparrow. We need to be careful in dealing with such a man. To prevent things from escalating any further, you have to be careful not to antagonize him. He has He's basically margin. repeating. We can't put her at risk. He's dangerous. Look at me. What did they do to me? To the king's own mother. It's done. It's in the past. Marjorie's safety is paramount. You don't like Marjorie, do you? Whether I like her or not, it's completely unimportant. I don't want to make people upset by pausing. Babe, what do you think? Who do you prefer? Do you prefer the completely mm -hmm. crazy, tyrannical, ego-driven Joffrey who would have obviously like waged war even if it meant the death of thousands of people? Or do you prefer this version of the king, which is the complete opposite, which is what the show gave us. Just a complete softy with just too too much empathy and too good of a heart who's just letting letting the position get walked all over, basically. Which one's better? In a perfect world, there would be a happy medium. Right, there you go. <laughs> but there's not. It's just interesting, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Marjorie is the queen. Queens must command respect. Kings even more so. Not just for their own sake, but for everyone's. The High Sparrow has no respect for kings or queens. No respect for anything in this world. He has no use for the things of this world. He wants to knock them down and replace them with what? With fantasies. With beggars in the street. With nothing. There's something I want to tell you. Something the High Sparrow told me. You've spoken with him. I promised him I wouldn't tell anyone. I am your mother. You can always trust me. <laughs> Point out the music. Yeah, when you hear the reins of Castamere, it's never the good. council meeting has been postponed on the king's orders. I would have thought we were perfectly clear the first time. You have been stripped of your dignity and authority and confined to the Red Keep. What's left to work with? Cersei is the mother of the king. She has the king's ear and his trust. And the king has been speaking regularly with the High Sparrow about Queen Marjorie and Sir Loras. The High Sparrow seized power knowing full well we bicker amongst ourselves instead of seizing it back. Here we are. Well done to us. Now the future of the Seven Kingdoms rests in his dirty peasant hands. In a few days, he'll have a trial for me. But before that, Queen Marjorie will make her walk of atonement. Marjorie will repent her sins before the good people of the city. Oh no, that cannot happen. Where was that energy for that Cersei? Will not happen. <clears throat> I agree. You've got the second largest army in Westeros. You will bring them into the city and take it back into Crown custody. The king has ordered me to take no action against the High Sparrow or the Faith Militant out of fear for the queen's safety. When the Tyrell armies come, you will stand down. Were you expressly forbidden from standing down? When the High Sparrow is in custody, or dead preferably, and Marjorie is back at Tommen's side, do you think the king will be angry at the outcome? You hate these fanatics as much as we do. You hate what they've done to your son. Or have you given him up for good? Of course I want him back. And stand aside. And let the people that took him from you be destroyed. She's like, okay, sister. If it doesn't go as planned. Many will die no matter what we do. Better them than us. So they have to team up. Lord. I mean, yeah, it's basically the crown against the church, right? Yep. That's your boy, yeah. Please accept him. Or his dead may never die. Please accept him. They didn't accept him before. You think they're going to accept him now? He doesn't even have... Well, you already know where I'm going with this. His dad's going to think less of him now, probably. Right. But the tribulations... Well, I mean, his dad's dead, obviously. But. Oh, yeah, his dad died. I forgot yeah. about that. You told me you were yeah, home, too. and I didn't believe <clears> you. <throat> she knew. Theon Greyjoy, I said. He's dead. He's been dead a long time. He let you go. I can't hear you. I escaped. Look at me. Look at me. Men died trying to rescue you. Good men. My men. You were a spoiled little you were my brother, and I risked everything for you. And you betrayed me. I know. I know, and I'm sorry. Stop saying that. You broke me into a thousand pieces. I know. You don't know? He sent us one of those pieces. That's why I came for you. Oh, wow. He thought it was a trick the whole time. Why did you come here? Where else could I go? 
You heard father was dead and you thought you'd claim the crown. No, I only heard he died after we docked. You think any Ironborn wants you to be king after what you've done? I don't want to be king. What do you want? To not get rained on. Tell me what you want. It better be to go kill Ramsay. You should rule the Iron Islands. Let me help you. Aww. Because she like kind of lives there and kind of like earned it. <laughs> no, don't hurt her. She almost seems invincible. I've cleaned you up nicely. You know who I am? A lord. Yes, a lord. You've seen my banners. The flayed man. Does that worry you at all? You eat them after. <laughs> no. Then I've seen worse. A then, probably. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, where? Let me go see him. Mm -mm. Throw him in the fire. You served the Starks. They put me in chains and put a sword at my throat. So I served them. The Starks have been gone for a long time, but you kept protecting Rickon. You fetch a good price to the right buyer. I served his family a long time, didn't get no wages. Why I see it, I'm old. Yeah, he ain't buying that. Be that as it may, Rickon's not yours to sell anymore. He's mine. So what use could I possibly have for you? I can give you what you want. Same thing men always want. I mean, they really want it. They give it a bath first. There's no shot she's about to go for the knife, right? Oh my god. <clears throat> Remember, no. he was peeling the apple with it just to get your mind on it. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about the apple. You're a good oh, they did that for you. The little zoom in. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, people. I like that. You're a much better talker than Theon Greyjoy. I think about That's Theon, bro. <laughs> well, she to work knows out. about him. Talking. They all do. He told me everything. All about the Stark boys who helped them escape and how she did it. No! Oh, man. Why? Man, they brought her back just to end her. Ah, oh, man. Dude. Yeah, these deaths are starting to hit a little softer, though, because I'm just Ramsey could be uh, dead. And right then now. he just keeps peeling the apple with it. Now he's actually eating it. He wanted some blood on it. Boy. What a rat. Dude, we need him to be gone. He's <laughs> killing everybody good. He's a, he, what a rat. Please don't kill Rick on, though, dude. He's just a little boy. John's like, oh. different times in Winterfell. Oh, <laughs> she looks so disturbed. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, this is an awkward dinner. <laughs> they need to go get a castle somewhere. Sorry about the food. That's, what we're known for. That's all right. There are more important things. Like living. A letter for you, Lord Commander. I'm not Lord Commander anymore. Remember his watch ended. He told y'all. Oh. Drama. She's like, my husband. He must know I left. Send back the start, girl. <laughs> I'll flay you, Lord Commander. The traitor and bastard Jon Snow. Oh, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Thousands of wildlings passed the wall. You have betrayed your own kind. You have betrayed the North. Winterfell is mine, bastard. Come and see. <laughs> is in my his direwolf skin is on my floor. Come and see. I want my bride back. Send her to me, bastard, and I will not trouble you or your wildling lovers. Keep her from me, and I will ride north and slaughter every wildling man, woman, and babe living under your protection. Well, he don't like you that. But they need that. Skin them living. You... Go on. She's more of the same. You will watch as my dogs devour your wild little brother. Then I will spoon your eyes from their sockets and let my dogs do the rest. So it was a lot worse. Yeah. Bolton, Lord of Winterfell, Warden of the North. Lord of Winterfell and Warden of the North. His father's yeah, he dead. Did. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and now he has Rickon. We don't know that. Yes, we do. How many men does he have in his army? I heard him say 5,000 once when he was talking about Stannis' attack. How many do you have that can march and fight 2,000? Nice, start, nice start, bad. nice start. The rest are children and old people. Get them training. Northern families are loyal. They'll fight for you if you ask. Rally them up, John. Let's go. A monster has taken our home and our brother. We have to go back to Winterfell and save them both. I hope you're grabbing a sword, Sansa. Oh, she is. I hope she's gonna be out there too. They're like, no. <laughs> no, not particularly. <laughs> Maybe they're talking about that dragon. Oh. I feel like the dragon's about to pop Yeah, I was there, like, right? I hope Drogon's there for this statement. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is she gonna do? 
Just jump in there. Yeah, but why did it spread like that, though? Because she didn't oil them things. She said Dracarys in her own way, didn't she? Probably one of them might would have jumped over the fire and snapped her neck, but... Sorry. I'm sorry. I just don't know why it spread like that. Maybe it was magic? I think someone oiled it. Oh. Well, maybe. I mean, maybe if it was that full of, like, oil and but stuff. But why would she be in there? Because she's the unburnt. <gasps> she's about to let them all die. She's just going to chill. Oh. And she's going to prove to everybody how, how, like, you know, cool she is. Whoa. Jeez. And they're just coming close to it. Like, why? Right. And then she's about to pop out. And they're, dude. Then oh they're going to trust her. And that's another army. Dude. Let's go. Let's go. This was so calculated. She's going crazy right now, bro. What? Yeah, so she had to get them to sneak in to oil it or something or like And the people are going to follow her because they're in there just talking dumb, you know what yeah. I'm saying? They just sound like idiots. She's wow. about that action right here. Watch. He's going to rise out. Oh, let's do it. Mm, that's let's so go. tough, bro. Oh my goodness. You have to believe that, you know? Yeah. When you see that, you just have to believe it. Dang. <gasps> let's go. We are loaded. Westeros, you're going down. That was a brilliant plan, though. The only thing was just, I don't know how in the world she made that fire spread like that. Wow. That was crazy, though. That Give me some Wicker Man vibes. That was like one of the great Game of Thrones moments so far. 200%. That was nuts, nice, dude. She said, I'll stand here ominously as long as y'all need me to. There you go. George's like, I, I knelt first. <laughs> I was first queen. Insane. Insane. Dang, man. Let's take these out. Those two episodes were thumping for real. I know. Guys, that was insane. You know what? Like, we've done so much Game of Thrones. Doesn't it feel like you repeat yourself yeah. on some level? So yeah. a lot of people, the show falls off. Yada, yada. We get all that right. And maybe I would recognize that the show has fallen off, you know, if I was able to catch all that. But I love that. that no, was it's going dope. hard. That was going crazy right it's there. It's so crazy. Yeah. I mean, I definitely, I don't want the show to like, I don't want the show to do anything that's going to like, take away another main character you know but like the deaths that we've been getting recently they've been so just like the timing has been right like that mm -hmm. death right there like as i think about it i just felt like that was right it's just enough to really like get rid of the old game of thrones vibe and bring in the new because yeah. i feel like the show is definitely evolving at this yeah point. it's it's evolved with ramsey for a lot sure. just happened right there it was yeah. hard to remember everything that just went down but mm -hmm. all right let's talk about it so babe what just happened in these last two episodes of Game of Thrones? Okay, so I guess I guess we can just start north and work our way down. <laughs> so go. we'll start north. We'll start. We'll start at the wall where there's John who just re reunited with Sansa, and um, which was beautiful because yes. it wasn't so over the top and dramatic. Yeah, it was, it was it was really beautiful because it really fit John and Sansa's personalities. Personalities yeah. exactly because they're not over the top type of people. Exactly. So go ahead, start interrupting. Um, but that was great. Um, so we have Sansa there. And they're all kind of sitting there, you know, having a dinner. And then they get that note from Ramsey, which which John is actually was hilarious, the sickest the part of the last two episodes, actually, other than that Daenerys part was John saying his watch has ended. Was that not so in the best part of the last? That two was episodes? tough. Yeah, because yeah, the John my watch has ended part was insane. But the, the Daenerys part was insane, too, because yeah. when she was in there, I, I genuinely felt like. And I felt like maybe every single person was thinking that the dragon was going to come in. Yes. And really like, like I thought, I thought in the background I was going to see a dragon. Yeah. I thought he was just in. creeping in. He was like, you know what I'm, I'm saying? Coming. But instead of that, we got something that I thought was equally as well thought out. It know? showed her strength. It really yeah. did. Yeah. She's not just three dragons. She's I like seeing her Daenerys. in the field. She went out there and put in work. Yeah, she did. She was that in the was trenches, great. boy. She showed them. And you know, I understand it was kind of, it was kind of slimy and it wasn't really like, in terms of like warfare, it wasn't the best. Yada yada. yada. But they're Dorthraki, and the shows made an emphasis that the Dorthraki only value strength. So yeah. in my mind, that was fair game. Right. You know, she basically cut so many braids off in that moment. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. She burnt some braids off. Yeah, she burned them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, like so so let's stay in the like, north and work our way down. <laughs> let's um, okay, so we were John with, came back to life. Hung, yeah. hung, hung, hung everyone responsible. As he should. The North is just basically being ran by wildlings at this point. Yeah, it's and just insane. And basically, the wildling army army is joining up with John to go take on Ramsey, who's also in the North. And Ramsey has gotten the Car Starks involved because you know Rob they cut lost off the loyalty, head. They lost loyalty, right? Yeah, Rob cut off the head. So then, I don't know who else Ramsey has because the Umbers, I guess they said, but they said they would never. So I don't know. Well, hopefully they can rally some Northern folk. You know what I'm saying? That's hopefully, I hope hopefully, they don't yeah. hopefully rally anybody. 
Well, no, I'm saying no, 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 not the not the. I'm talking about like uh, John and them. Remember right. They're saying that a lot of people still have loyalty to the north. And right. Stuff, so. so hopefully they'll hit up them houses. You know. We're gonna the, see the ones that owe them some favors. I mean, it's not good for anyone. I mean, at the end of the day, any anyone who's gonna sit there and think like, well, who do we support? What's our cost? Ultimately, the question is gonna be like self preservation. What's good for our kids and stuff. So. The Boltons can't be good for anyone. No. I mean. And if you can, like, openly support them flaying people, like, open just because they won't pay their taxes, like, in one second. He paid his taxes. Yeah. <laughs> he paid it double. He doubled the taxes. Right. No, anyways. Ugh, anyways. Um, what, so, the Boltons suck, basically, yeah. what you're saying. But yeah, 300%. They have Rickon now, which kind of makes it a little urgent for them. Every time you throw in a hostage, it makes, yeah. because everything's so simple. Oh, well, you just you just you go whoop ash right that's yeah. what you do and then you throw in a hostage and it's like bro now i gotta now whoop, i gotta whoop butt different. tomorrow like it's not just like it's so different so they have to gear up for everything asap so the it feels like it's gonna happen within like episodes because you you have to go get ricken i mean you almost would think that like you would have to get someone who's still loyal to like the stark yeah. The Stark legacy, man. You would one of them people would have to go in there and try to rescue Rick and like an inside yeah. type thing. Cause if you invaded, I mean, the minute you ride up on the gates, he's dead. Right. Right. I mean And you, you just want to hope like that maybe they can like call Tyrion and Varys, but they don't know where they are. So you can't that's not an option. Right. So yeah. Let's go a little further south. So what's going down in King's Landing? No, no, Is no, that no not next? that not that far south. That's oh. real south. That's like Tijuana South. Okay, so I was thinking more of like Winterfell. Oh, well, I thought we were already talking about that. Well, I thought we were talking about the wall. Oh, well, anyways. We yeah, we kind of talked about, about Ramsey. Well, that was the business pertaining to the North. But let's talk about what's going on at Winterfell. So okay. at Winterfell. Ramsey's in charge. Ramsey's He's done a pretty good job spreading the word that he was poisoned by his enemies, which is hilarious <laughs> when he says that. The dude who plays Ramsey as an actor is actually really great for yeah. this role. He's such a funny character. Yeah. Um, and no, when they read that note, it was so in character for him. It was yeah. exact. It yeah. was like he was doing. Come he was talking see. to the Raven, yeah. and it was like a voiceover, yeah. like he was speaking into it or something. And like a lot of people told us text. that when he was crapping on the actor who plays uh, Theon, that he actually felt really bad about just being so torturous to him and calling him <laughs> reek and stuff. So. That's been kind of in the back of my mind that maybe in real life he's just like a super nice dude. Yeah, and so he's but over here show, playing the most straight biggest damn villain. Dennis the Grimace over here. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, so which makes him a good actor, by the way. But people are really, really loyal to Ramsey, which surprised me. I didn't think that everyone would just go along with he was poisoned by his enemies. But... Well, they were loyal to him in hate of the Starks, like so it was like a loyal. Well, he also led them to a really good battle and a really well, yeah. good win. Remember when Theon escaped? So you know nothing is going to. Make you oil to someone like blood, sweat, and tears on yeah, the battlefield. So. True. But what did you say, sweetie? That basically what you were saying. All right, let's go a little further south. Oh, let's talk about um let's talk about Brienne. Okay. Brienne and Tormund are about to start What what? Uh, are about what to start makes a you think that? <laughs> because they're sit because he's sitting there liking it. Yeah, her. but Brienne's looking disgusted. <laughs> man, she'll come around. No, nah, she's guy's in she's a Jamie. She's gonna be loyal to Jamie, I bet. No, Jamie's, Jamie's the new Renly. Sisters, no, listen, Tormund likes her, and I feel like if you're Brienne, man, well, he's into giants, though, bro. If you're Brienne, like, if somebody's sitting there just gnawing at the bone at you, at least give the dude a chance, man. man. As long nah. as he ain't too weird, she's like, got her head in the game. She got her head on Sansa. Tormund's a good dude, man. He's a good. dude. I, I do. I like Tormund. He's a good character. He's done some pretty terrible things. Yeah, he has. Maybe but I, we just won't mention that. I got yeah, but I kind of like him as a character because he kind of speaks for the wildlings. He's like the new Mance. Yeah. So it's kind of cool that he's like kind of on board with whatever John says. And you kind of have to be. John came back from the dead. So it's like kind of like, dude, that man knows things. I got to kind of follow him. Yeah. If we're going to fight the Skellies. And then it turns out John's just, you know, just doing his part in the prophecy, just trying to make it come true. Yeah. I think it's really interesting how in King's Landing, Jamie and Cersei decided that, you know what, they're back in the game. They're having an attitude adjustment, them versus the world. Yeah. They're, they're, they're not, they're not. You know what? They're they're done. You know what? They're done. They're not they're not ashamed no more. They're coming out, man. It's, yeah. it's them versus the they're world. They're united. You know? They haven't exactly said it yet, but I'm getting the vibe that it's so much. They're implied. tired of hiding. It's it. so much. They're implied. tired of hiding, yeah. man. They're a unit, and no one gives a damn about it. Like no one. Everyone is just no. They're like from them. The, no. They're like undermining them. They're like, all right, you don't you want to be in here? This meeting's not here. Then this meeting's elsewhere. Bye. It's crazy how the politics have changed so much. Uh, Guys, I don't know what the hell is going on with the High Sparrow. I don't know. King Tom is just doing his best. To me, he's just the king who just wasn't old enough. You know what I'm saying? He just doesn't have <laughs> he enough. He was premature. <laughs> well, 
I couldn't imagine being that age and having enough conviction. You know, as you become an adult, it's not really so much a physical, it's a mental. Yeah. Like, bro, you're not marching me through and, the street. And some you know of them, a lot of them had, like, guidance. And Tommen's guidance has kind of been, like, you know, in and out. Like, Uncle Kevin seems like he's trying to come in and hold it right. But who yeah. knows about Uncle Kevin, man? We don't know Uncle Kevin from, from Adam. Tom is just up against something that he's just, like, this is his first... Like this is his first little go at it, and this is just too much, man. Like, right? He he came into that. a really crappy situation because the guy who was supposed to help him be king gets murdered on the toilet. So like now now he has to sit here and listen to his mom, who's could or could not be incestuous, yeah. you know. And then you have to worry about that. And then not only that, you have to worry that every person just saw her naked and they threw like like nasty sh crap at her, and like yeah. so she's just so disrespectful. It was almost like seeing her march through the street almost made the people that were in command like. Not in command, but you know, people that were like highborn and higher ups, and then the council. All those people were like pointing the nose up at her because yeah. she was humiliated in that. Yeah, sense. and that's what she said. She kind of said, "I'm gonna find out whoever's laughing at me, and I'm gonna let them know." So it's like, and yeah. she said anywhere. She she even said a wildling. If a wildling's laughing at her, she's gonna get them. That's what I'm saying. Cersei's just on a whole different. It's almost like it's like okay, dude. So you marched me through the streets naked. All that stuff happened to me. It was as disgusting as it was. And you think I'm ashamed that my kid's born of incest? Are you are you crazy? Right. I I, I have no shame anymore. So right. She's rocking the shortcut. She hit the rock bottom. You know. She's basically, ready. yeah, 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 yeah. She's like, she's that. Uh, who was it? Miranda Lambert. And she's all like, I'm gonna scratch my key into your truck or whatever. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You know about well, Carrie I, Underwood? I'm a load my oh, shotgun yeah like, that's you are her, talking bro. about miranda lambert that's her okay. um i don't know man but cersei's about to start keying cars out here because she yeah. is pissed punching walls you know punching the drywall the what uh, okay the prophecy is being fulfilled winter's still coming sir davos just discovered a lot of horrible truths in this uh john snow is becoming a head-on collision with ramsey in the south the war in the south is cersei versus Cersei the and the world. Tyrells versus the church. It's basically <laughs> the seven it's, it's the seven kingdoms in the south, but that war is being fought through Cersei's perspective inside the halls of King's Landing. So yes. there's that going down there and that's basically where we're at with the show right, right now. But no, so. then there's Daenerys now. Well, we talked about Daenerys, but you know, yeah, then there's yeah, yeah. Daenerys too, but she has her own stuff going on. Well, which Tyrion doesn't it feel also. like she's sort of like her own little thing yeah, going yeah, on yeah. right now? Like there's going to be a crossover hopefully, but I don't know when I'm hoping that it's going to come, but that's why I, I, I realized she kind of got on this whole little side quest. But now I realize how necessary it was. Yeah, she really needs the numbers. She just gained that side quest was a great. We're one, just man. getting towards the end of the show and she's not in charge yet. Yeah, and, and I, it's kind of weird. She like, needs to like when's it going to happen time or something. Right. Yeah. And um, now that she got this army, though, the thing she needs is like ships. mostly. Yeah, to she get because. But the thing is, the death Rocky said they never. Oh, but she convinced them that. Yeah, okay. she'll do it again. Yep. Crazy. Wow. This show is this show is superb. I want to say that. Right. So predictions real quick before we get out of here. What kind of predictions? So where do you think this show is going? Like not in terms of big picture, but just this season. You know, we're like halfway through the season this at this season. point. So what's the end of this season going to look like? And there's probably going to be something shocking to set up next season. What do you think is going to be? I just feel like head to head Ramsey and Jon Snow are going to have to. Something's going to happen. And. I think a casualty of a main character is going to happen in that. Brianna Tarth. That's who you thought? You said a casualty of a main character. Oh, man. That's not character. who Rob's I days, thought, man. You know? Man, I, I wasn't sure. I was hoping it was Ramsey, but. Uh, no, you said main character, not main Well, he kind of is the main, main weasel. weasel right there. What are you talking about? We're talking main about rat. main characters. I thought you meant like, like main, real ones. Main gremlins. <laughs> Sorry, you said main characters. I thought we were talking about like superstars over here. Well, anyways. But. He gives off main character vibes. Brianna what he, Tarth is one of the best characters in the yeah, show. Yeah, so she, uh, she can't. I know. I, I will I not love allow. Her I will not She's allow her cool, to die. Just such a cool character. I will not allow. Brianna I really to die. like how she like finally like she finally made good on her word in some sense. So good yeah, on her. love that. Yeah, she she must be protected at all times. She's a protector, but I protect Brian. I think John is going to get in a fight with Ramsay. I think that is ultimately going to like destroy a head -to -head. all the. Well, yeah, maybe like battle. a head to head yeah. sword fight. A battle. Oh. Because they have armies. I mean, yeah, I mean, but how can they ever so come to a head? <laughs> I think it's going to destroy all the wildling, wild, wildlings. And maybe the main character death will be uh, Tormund. Maybe Tormund and Brienne will start to fall in love and then he'll get taken from her and then she'll be more in despair. Just like, you know, with Renly, but in a different way. Um, 
And I then think so differently. Than maybe you. John will take Winterfell back at a great cost, and maybe John and Sansa will start to rebuild. But then somehow or another, man, they have to get some type of they have to reunite in the north because winter's coming. So right. Well, how's I'm, that going to happen? I, I don't see how they're going to possibly reunite. Could you imagine Ramsey coming across paths with Cersei? Right. Like you see how that's that just would be not weird. Gonna work. It's just not going to work. Well, you're so. This is what I think. I think that. I think that. Okay, they're going to fight, and then and then the the Night King's going to be like alarmed that there's like a battle, and he's going to be like, oh, I kind of need some more he's people in my army. So he's going to walk up, and he's going to be like, Psh, and then, but Ramsey and Jon Snow are going to like kill each other. So then the one of the two, I think Jon is going to rise up as a White Walker, and then stab the other one, or something. No. They're both going to kill each other. They're both going to die. And Melisandre's going to raise one. Ramsey will be born a uh, white. John will be raised back. Reborn, yeah. And then he'll kill the white walker, Ramsey. But Ramsey will have information and John will flay him to get it out. Right. And he'll flay him with dragon glass or Valyrian too. I don't know how serious those predictions were. Yeah, I don't know either. But mine was dead serious. Yours oh. with the whole raising him with the white walker thing. I don't know if you're being serious. Well, no. That. Why did they show us that? What? Why'd they show us that if that's not going to happen at some point? You know what I'm saying? Because I feel like maybe in the end of the show, the whites will win. Because they're know. basically saying, like, no, no matter who, what what happens, we're just going to keep coming All right, back. you don't see a still motion of the Night King just taking a nap and then hearing, like, so, so, battles, battle swords clanging, and he opens his eye, and he's like, gotta go, gotta go get him. You don't see that happening? So you think Ramsey's eyes could look more cold and dead than they already do? Right, yeah, I think he's about to be a White Walker. Dang. Guys... I love that, man. That was so much fun. Yeah. It's hard to say that was my favorite episode we've had in like, not a, that's even hard to damn say. Dude, it just feels like it's been a while since we recorded Game of Thrones because it always does every time we hop back in the mm -hmm. show. And every time I watch this show, I feel like it might be my favorite episode. Right. But it's because the story is just. It progresses. It's just. it's just, And it makes you crave to want to watch another one. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, guys. It's been the Octobers. If you have fun here, like, comment, subscribe. Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want the uncut full length raw reactions because that's what we provide over there and we're just going to keep pumping out game of thrones thank you guys so much for real see you on the next one